Hi, I'm Mahesh Kaun. Mastering the spiritual dimensions of the martial arts can be a life-altering experience. Martial arts classically were built on relationships, student-teacher relationships and student-student relationships. So why is this relationship so different from that of a high school teacher and a student or a soccer coach and his player? The roots of this can be traced to the material that is being taught. Martial arts are potentially dangerous to practice and the knowledge the students gain can be used, even if not intentionally, to seriously harm another person. Morality or virtue is a true basis for all traditional spiritual disciplines in the right thinking world. The ancient martial arts systems were founded upon ethical moral principles and philosophy by their founders who were individuals of intelligence and integrity. Virtuousness can be considered right heart, right thinking. Students were taught about this and they were expected to become virtuous. What is virtuousness? Virtuousness is the quality of doing what is right and avoiding what is wrong. Martial arts people were supposed to be heroes of the society who saved their lives and even sacrificed their own to help others. Martial arts training without morals teaching can lead certain students to become arrogant and aggressive, making them into bullies who use their skills for evil purposes. Now, let's study a bit of a training segment called Kumite training. Kumite is the exchange of techniques like punches, kicks, etc. and checking the effectiveness of one's speed and timing. Observe closely the standing posture, ready and relaxed at the same time. Now, from here they will practice a single reverse punch delivery with footwork. The lead foot extends forward and the reverse face makes contact with the partner's abdominal area. There is control in a punch. Notice the withdrawing of the face quickly after a light body contact. This is repeated many times and on many days before the next series of techniques are taught. There was once a martial arts master who decided to take his students for a moonlight walk. So they started walking in the forest and as they walked, the moon was bright up in the sky. There was a spring in the forest, bubbling spring, sometimes slow, sometimes fast, meandering its way through the forest. The master said, look at the reflection. What is it? One quick thinking student said, oh, it's the moon. Master said, it's not the moon, it's the reflection of the moon. Though we think it's the moon. He said, the stream, the spring is teaching us a lesson. Nature teaches us lessons of wisdom, if we are willing to listen to it. Sometimes in life, we perceive what we want to see. And sometimes in life, we keep looking at the reflection, but miss the reality and the real thing. In this video, I've touched a little bit on the spiritual dimension of the martial arts. Think about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Namaste.